In today's tutorial we will start with some pads. And basically we have some triads and also have the bass note on top. We are using two different instruments. The first one from Spire, a pad called Altitude. And from Nexus 4 we are using Dark Pad 1. And we also have some effects on the pads. So in the beginning they are just increasing in the volume and also later in the tracks we have some side chaining on the pads so basically when you get the kick in you will also have some side chaining on the bass to promote the energy of the kick then we have some bass as well for the bass i'm using two different sounds from spire the first one called Deep Sub and the second one is one called Sub basically. I'm also using a ambient sound to fill the sound specter but also to add something in the beginning. And if you want to use atmospheric sound effects in your tracks, then it could be good to check the key. So for this track, I am going for A minor. To add some more interest in the intro, I have these drums. It's kind of like a tribal drum. And together you get this kind of beginning to the track. After the intro, we continue in the more of a quiet style. So it's like building slowly up. I've added the melody. So I have two different instruments playing the melody. This is the first one. I am using Spire as well. I'm using a lot of Spire in this track. Lay Down NT is the name of the lead. And then I'm also using another lead track, also this one from Spire. And for the intro I am actually using a low cut on the second pattern, so that it's like fading in, so it's fading in during these bars. And I also have a few effects, just to add some energy. And transitioning from the second part of the intro, we also have a small uh, riser. And then we come to the next segment where we have some claps and basically what I'm doing is that I'm adding a effect on the claps so that it's also fading in during the beginning. And listening to just the leads we can see how they are like switching place during the intro. So at the beginning it will be dominated by this one lead track and then it will flow into more of a dual sound and one of the tracks are primarily placed on the left side of the uh, stereo image so i'll just see if i can get all my automations to join and we can try to play that
So it's a very gradual transformation, but it um, makes some kind of progress and also it widens the sound of the, the melody. I also added a small tiny effect uh, here, so you see that you have like this long note on the leads. So I just added a small pitch bend. Uh, it, it's a, like a minor detail, but it adds something to the track. So when you're making music, try to find these small things that you can add to improve. Um, and, and it can elevate the track slightly. <laughs> And it's also very easy to make. You just go into your VST, uh, in this case the Spire, and you have like the pitch wheel. You can then click it and then choose this one and then you rotate it. And now these two are linked. And if you want to automate it, you can just right click and create automation. And then it will pop up on your playlist and you can then make these kind of automations to whatever parameter you want to with your VST. I also have a small effect in the small gaps you have. You have a gap from the intro and then you also have a gap after the build up um, where I added some small effects. Uh, we can listen to that. Basically what I'm doing is I'm adding a reverb to the pad and then I'm using a VST called Bad Tape, uh, Denise Bad Tape. And basically what I did was I'm using this G-Tune button and that is going to pitch bend down the track and um, more like when you're using the tape effect, uh, that's basically what Bad Tape does. So listening to the beginning, you will hear it here. So it's like pitch bending down, and then I repeated the same effect here as well. Uh, where I'm also adding a love filter. A love filter is uh, one of the VSTs in FL Studio. And I added a transgate, and basically that's going to make this choppy kind of sound on the effect. So when we play it, it's going to be like this. This segment I have some small synths coming in. And from this part of the track I'm not still done, so I'm thinking I will add some arps or some plucks coming in here. And then I continue with the melody and you have this dual melody section here where the melodies are not the same and they are like echoing each other in a way and also for this part i have included the bend wheel function so that's a quick look at a track i'm working on uh, if you have some ideas about making music or you have some tips that i could benefit from knowing then always comment, I uh, always appreciate it. And if you want to see some specific videos on special kinds of music or whatever, then don't hesitate to let me know. If I can do it, I will try to. And if you want to see more like this, then feel free to subscribe, like and comment. And I'm wishing you the best of days. Have a good one. Ciao.